Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step process how to create the complete login and logout page with profile image and username on a master page using sessions. And here we got the final output. And notice on the master page, the login and registration. And when I click registration, it's a new user registration. We already added one user, so I'm logging with the details. Login page. Charan at gmail.com. 1234. The password is. When I click login, And notice on the master page we got the user profile image with the user email id which is a username and the logout button logout we are redirect to homepage.axpx if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial i have created a new project and the project name is master page custom login and logout for the time saving i have added one master page and one home page.aspx page and this is a master page and this is a home page and this master page contains a simple html5 bootstrap template if you don't know how to add the bootstrap template on the master page i have made a video on that please visit my channel before adding the web form pages, login, logout and registration pages to this project, let's check the basic output how it looks at designing part on the browser. This is a home page, Google Chrome. And here we got the output which contains a master page and the, and the content page. Now the first thing, I want to add a login, logout, registration and one profile image on the navigation header. Let's switch back to the master page source code. We'll add the controls. Now in this master page, in the header section, after the Haritha Computers and Technology, I'm creating a new do tag. I'm adding some booster classes here. Column 4, Dflex. And I want to make this do tag at the end of the header section justify content and and the items I'm aligning at the center align items and now inside this do tag I'm adding five controls three link button controls login logout and registration and the fourth control is the image control to display the user image and the last one is a label control to display the username go to toolbox link button let's copy this and paste in here the link button one is the login and the id i'm changing to login the second link button is a logout. Copy this. The ID of the link button for the logout is L and K logout. The third one is a registration. I'm changing the ID. Link reg. Now after the login control, I'm adding one image control and one label control. Go to toolbox again image control and one label control I'm deleting the text label control property from the label control and changing the label ID to label username as well as the image ID to image user after adding the controls when a user is not logged in, the logout and the image control and the label control is not visible. Visible false. Let's copy this. I'm 
adding to the image control. Let's check the output on the browser. When a user is not logged in, the logout, the image control and the label control are the invisible. Go to home page, Google Chrome. And here we got the output and notice we got the login and registration link buttons are visible. The logout and the image control, the label control are invisible. Let's create the pages of login, logout and registration. Stop debugging. Go to solution explorer. Right click the project name. Add new item. I'm choosing web form with master page. The web form name is a login. Add. The master page I'm choosing the site master. Okay. Go to solution explorer. Right click the master page project name. Add new item. registration add okay and the last one is a, a logout page add new item logout page add I'm selecting the mouse page okay go to login do class Container login page. Let's copy this. New user registration. Let's create the registration form. Do class form group. I'm adding label control. Enter username. Do class is equals to column small devices nine. Now in this do class I am adding a text box control to enter the username. Go to toolbox. Text box control. Text. Username. CSS class. Form control. Place holder, enter username. I'm adding the autofocus property. Let's copy this one. Email. The text box ID is email. I'm deleting the out of focus property. Enter email. Let's copy this one. The third control is a password. Text. Password, enter password, date of birth, the text box ID is DVOB, enter the 
place holder is a date of birth and the text mode date Now in this due tag I'm adding the file upload control. Go to toolbox, file upload control, CSS class, form control, gender, I'm deleting the text box control instead of text box control I'm adding the radio button controls go to toolbox radio button radio mail CSS class is equals to form control group name is equals to gender let's copy this mail the radio button id is female female Due class column small dividers nine. I'm adding a button control to save the values into a table. Toolbox button control. The text is the registration button ID button reg. CSS class button button primary button block after that after the button control the last controls I'm adding the label controls one for the file upload control to check whether the user is uploading the image files or not and the second label is used to display the message if the user record is saved or not. Toolbox Label Control I'm deleting the label Label on ID I'm changing Upload Mess the label to id i'm changing to reg mess that's it we have done the designing part let's check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser google chrome and here we got the output of the registration page the new user registration and notice the cursor is focusing on the text box control username. Enter email, password, data birth, file upload control, gender, male and female, and the registration button. After designing part, before writing the coding part, let's create a table in my SQL Server database. I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the databases folder. And sample DB is my user database. I want to create a table in this sample DB database. I right click, new query, create table db dot user new registration. The columns I'm adding, the first one is the ID, 
which is an integer data type. I'm adding the auto generate column for this ID identity one comma one as well as I'm adding primary key for this column. Username varcar hundred user email varcar fifty user password varcar fifty data bath which is a date data type gender car one and the last one is a user image where car max let's create the table execute command completed successfully let's check the table user new reg is added in this database or not i'm expanding the sample db the tables folder i'm expanding refreshing the table and here we got the user new reg table is added to this tables folder now it's time to write the coding part to insert new user details into this table user new reg go to design mode double click the registration button to create the button click event and here we got the button click event the first thing i'm adding namespaces using system.data using system.data dot sql client using system dot configuration the last namespace I'm adding the using system.ivo to upload the files. After adding these namespaces, let's add the connection string data source in the web.config file. Go to server explorer, right click the data connections, add connection. The server name is this is my server name. And the database name is a sample db database test connection okay okay and here we got the sample db dot db work connection is added under data connections right click the sample db go to properties under connections there is a connection string property here we got our data source connection string copy that one open the solution explorer open web.config file under configuration, I'm adding connection string add name is equals to my connection connection string. I'm pasting the data source here, the provider name system dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web.config file switch back to the code behind now we'll write the coding part the first thing i'm validating the file upload control the user must upload the image files only if file upload which is a file upload control id posted file is not equals to null string str path is equals to path dot get extension file upload one dot posted file dot file name if string path is not equals to dot jpg and String path is not equals to dot jpeg and string path is equals to not equals to dot gif files and the last one is our string path is not equals to png.
if the user is uploading other than these files I want to display the message label upload message dot text is equals to only image types dot jpeg dot jpeg jpg dot png dot gif allowed lab upload message dot four color I want to display this message in a red color system dot drawing dot color dot red else copy this one and pasting here profile image is saved this one display in a green color let's upload the file after validating the upload files the image files I want to save in the project folder images string file image is equals to path dot get file name file upload one dot posted file dot file name file upload one let's save this file upload one dot save as server dot map path which takes a string path between double quotes tilt user images copy this one let's create a folder in the project folder right click the project name add new folder I'm pasting this user images folder this one plus file image this one this variable after that string gender is equals to string dot empty if radio button mail dot check gender is equals to mail else gender female string string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name which I have stored in the web.config file I'm pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of this main con string SQL query is equals to here the SQL statement is I'm inserting the user details into this database into this table let's copy this table name insert into the table name the columns are username uname user email user password
potato bath Viva B Agenda And the last one is the uh, image In this user image column I am only storing the image path values at uname at u email at u password at date of birth at gender and the last one is the user image SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters the first parameter is a command text SQL query and the second one is a SQL connection which is a SQL con variable I'm pasting here I'm opening the connection string open method SQL com dot parameters dot add with value between double quotes at the first column name is a username uname and the object here is that text box control text username dot text paste 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 the second column is the email text email And the third column is password text password and the fourth one is the data path text dov dot text let's copy again gender gender in this gender I'm adding this variable gender here which will store male and female user image and in this column I'm storing the image path let's copy this pasting here SQL command dot execute non query after executing the insert statement I want to display the message label regmessager.txt is equals to user plus plus text username.txt is saved successfully else record not save that's it we have done the coding part to insert the user registration details into a table let's check the output on the google chrome and here we got the output the user registration charan charan at gmail the password is 1234 the date of birth For the demo purpose, I'm selecting the wrong one. Choose file, children image, gender male, click registration.
and notice the profile image is saved user challenge is saved successfully let's check the table this profile image is added or not I'm executing the table the current details is added in this table use a new reg let's check in my project folder also the user images show all files see here the current jpg is added stop debugging now we'll create the login page go to login.aspx page after h1 tag i am adding the login controls username password one button control and one label control to display the if the user credentials are wrong so the designing part instead of writing the code again i'm just copying this one user email and password username here the username I'm using the email ID and the password the text mode is text mode is equals to password next we need a button control and one label control come to the bottom I'm just copying the registration button and one label control I'm pasting here I'm deleting the on click event the label is a login the button ID is but login label login message that's it we have done the designing part of the login page now the coding part is left go to design mode double click the button click event and here we got the button click event the first thing using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration after adding the namespaces of SQL server now in the button click event I'm writing the code string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name this one my connection I'm pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes the parameter of main con string SQL query here the SQL query is a select statement select start from the table name is this one dbo dot user new reg copy this one I'm pasting here where the username I'm using the email ID so user email is equals to at and the password is equals to at password SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the one is the SQL query select statement and the second one is just SQL connection this one the object SQL connection dot open method SQL com dot parameters dot add with value this one at you email comma the object is a text box control of the email ID text email dot text 
Just copy this. The second one for the password UPWD. Text password. SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter which takes a parameter of the SQL command object data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill method I'm filling the DT data table SQL command dot execute non query method if DT dot rows dot count is greater than zero if the username and password is valid response dot redirect I want to redirect to welcome.aspx page. Welcome.aspx page. Let's create this page. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click the project name. Add. New item. Web form with the master page. Welcome.aspx page. Okay. Give class is equals to container h1. This is welcome page. Else, if the username and password are wrong, I want to display the message. lab login mess dot text is equals to username and password are wrong lab login mess dot for color is equals to system dot drawing dot color dot the message will be displaying the red color let's check the output google chrome and here we got the output of the login page the email id password and the login button now enter the details of the username and password the username is the charan at gmail.com and the password is a 1234. charan at gmail.com 1234 the password login. And see you have redirect to welcome.aspx page. Suppose if I enter the wrong password. See, I got the message, username and password are wrong. Let's log in again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Log in. See, again, we are redirect to welcome.aspx page. And notice on the master page, the login and registration controls, I want to make invisible. And I want to display the user email ID at the top with the profile image and logout button control. Let's switch back to the coding part. We'll finish the rest of the code. And stop debugging. Now in the button click event, notice the if condition. I'm creating a session here. Session. Username is equals to. And this username we are getting from the text box control text email dot text so let's visit the welcome.aspx page 
at the top I'm adding the master page direct to master type virtual path I'm adding the master page here in the welcome.aspx page now we can access the master page controls in the content page welcome.aspx page right click view code I'm adding the namespaces using system.data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration now in the page load to access the master page controls in this content page we need to create the public properties of the controls go to sitemaster.master right click view code the controls are public the first control I'm adding the label control lab username get property return this dot the control name lab username The second control is the public. We have a link buttons, the login, logout, and registration. Link button, link, registration, get, return, this dot, link registration. Let's copy this one. link login link login link logout and the last one we have the image control on the master page public image image user get return this dot the image control id is image user now we can access these controls in the welcome.aspx page Now in this page load event, I'm adding if session, what's the session name? This one, username, copy this one. Yes, here is not equals to null, which means if the user is successfully logged in and redirected to welcome.aspx page, I don't want to visible the login and registration controls so master dot link login dot visible is equals to false master dot link registration dot visible is equals to false master dot link logout dot visible is equals to true master dot label username dot text is equals to welcome plus I'm adding the session variable copy and paste master dot image user dot visible is equals to true if the user is redirected to welcome.aspx page I don't want to show the login and registration link buttons I want to show only the logout the label control to display the username and the image control to show the user image profile 
string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string main which is this one my connection copy this one and pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter this main con variable string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is a select statement I'm selecting the image from the table select the column name of the image is UIMG from the table name dbo dot user new range copy this one and I'm pasting here where the user name U name this one is equals to single quotes plus plus now between plus plus I'm adding the session username SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query here, and the second one is the SQL connection variable object name SQL connection dot open method I'm opening the connection SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL command dot execute reader method if SDR dot read string image name is equals to SDR between double quotes between double quotes I'm adding the column name of the image UIMG dot to string master dot image user dot image URL is equals to image name I'm clearing the session here session dot clear session dot remove all method else response dot redirect between double quotes logout dot aspx page that's it we have done the coding part before run this application open the solution explorer open master page in the master page the image control I am adding the height and width properties 30 pixels width 35 pixels and also I'm adding the post back URL for the hyperlinks post back URL is equals to login.aspx page for the logout control post back URL is equals to logout and the last one is the registration is post back URL is equals to registration that's it now it's time to check the results on the browser login.aspx page google chrome and here we got the final output and notice on the master page the login and registration and when i click registration it's a new user registration we already added one user so i'm logging with the details login page charan at gmail.com 
one two three four the password is when I click login and notice on the master page we got the user profile image with the user email ID which is a username and the logout button logout we are redirect to homepage.axpx that's it